Hello everybody, I'm Yuki for MakerFlex. Many users contact us about matrix using with LVGLs. Although we have many demos about that previously, but there are some sound difficult for new users. Today, I'd like to share a very basic Hello World demo of using LVGL with matrix. Then starting LVGL demo in 5 minutes. Click the switch. The screen displays LED open. Click close. The screen displays LED closed. Main touch is Design Maker Flash Produce series based on the ESP32 and kinds of display with touch. By now, there are more than 10 kinds including 1.28, 1.9, 3.5, 7 inch, support Arduino, LVGL. LVGL is a free and open source embedded graphics library that creates beautiful UI. While Squareline is a UI design software that is tightly integrated with LVGL without the need to write complex code. Currently, Squareline supports Matrix well. You can directly select Matrix board for development in its board option. Okay, I will show you how to make a most simple LVGL demo next. Ready? Let's go! This demo is divided into three steps. Firstly, is the UI design based on screen line. The second step is the control LED design based on Arduino. Finally, is to decide the interaction between the LED and the UI interface. Download screen line at screen line's website. Select download. Choose the type of download based on your PC. RC is encrypt install. The screen line is installed. Click on screen line to log into your account or click on sign up if you don't have one. Next, we will create our own projects. Click on create, click on make a face, and we will see a variety of matrix produced available for us to choose from. Let's take a 1.9 inch screen as an example. Modify the desired project's name and location information. Click Create and we will see a blank screen where we can decide the interface in our own style. We add a label with the name of our project. LED test. Then we set its size and position. Then add a switch, set its size and position. We can end the background image you like in assets. Quit and file into assets to end the image you like. Quit screens straight to the screen settings. Quit background and the image to the screen. We can create demonstration to see the effects of our interface design. If we want the screen to have a different display after the case is placed, we can end the inward to the case. Quit the button. Select an event set tab when checked. Select label 1. On text, name the word that will be displayed when the option is open. Of text is the word that will be displayed when the option is called. We can create demonstration to see the effects. At this point, our LVGL graphical user interface has been designed. Click Ctrl S to save and then output the project code document. Click the output code document. We will see that there are two folders, UI and library. The INO surface file in the UI folders is the main code file that we end our own programming. Open it and go to Arduino Designs and we will see the code representation of the interface that we have designed. We define the LED pins and the state of the LED in the code. Set the LED mode. Accept the state of the LED. If it is yellow, the LED is off. Otherwise, the LED is on. Click on the code project document. You just output. We need to copy the lvconh file into the SCAR folder in the lvgl folder in libraries. 
Go back to the libraries folder. Now, we need to associate our interface with the LEDs. Click on the UI files. It can be opened with any editor, such as Q, Coblast, Notepad, and so on. Let's use Visual Studio Code as an example. In these files, we have anything we need for our interface design, such as the screen, buttons, and the label. By referring to the LED state variable defined by us in Arduino, when the key is pressed, we perform a rewrite operation in LED state to achieve the effect of controlling the LED on and off. Pass Ctrl S to state and close the file. Go back to the libraries and copy those four files into the Arduino libraries. Go back to the Arduino, connect the screen with USB, select the COM port and the port of the ESP32S switch, and click Upload. When the download is complete, you will see the interface redesign. Connect the LED hardware according to the diagram. A simple project based on LVGL is completed. Happy to share with you guys. Now, let's go a meta to start it. Thank you for watching.